I have one here on the side. who does that? Operating statement, usually we fill it out and as a lender uh, or the accountant will fill it out or the bookkeeper for the seller or the, or the, uh, or the uh, person who's looking to refinance. And we get that information from Schedule E of one's income taxes because we're reporting them the income of the property and reporting the expenses of the property. That's where we derive that information from. Okay, how do you value a non-cash link property? What if you got a property that's vacant? What if some units are not there? What if some tenants are not occupying or they're in transition? Or they're not paying for that matter, right? Well, we go to the, to the market. We do a market rental survey report. That's what appraisers do. And we can extrapolate some of the expenses based on the square footage, what the utilities would be like, the gas, the water, the trash. That's more or less. When you work with uh, commercial, I try to make the comparison between residential and commercial. So on the residential side, in order for your buyer or, or borrower to qualify, they have to go through a lender and you have your debt service ratios, right? Your front end ratio, your back end ratio. Determines how much you can buy your purchasing power. Well, commercial, we look at the subject property, not the buyer or the borrower. We look at the property itself. That's my main qualifying entity. The property, how it cash flows, how much rent is going to receive. What are the expenses to maintain this property? And we look at that first. And what's left over should be enough to make the mortgage payment. So it's very important. I don't care if the buyer business is making $10 million a year. That's the buyer's business. I'm looking at the subject property because we're lending on the subject property. We're not lending on the buyer's business. Make sense? Mm -hmm. So it's important that we get all the information regarding the subject property, and that's incumbent upon you as realtors, whether you're representing the buyer, the seller, or a potential borrower is looking to cash out, these are the conversations you need to have. These are the things you need to ask for so you can size up the deal and I'll put it together for you. All right, you get the pieces of the puzzle, we'll put the picture together. Make sense? And feel free to interrupt me if you have any questions. If not, I just talk a lot. <laughs> Next.